Hey there, in this short video we're going to show you how to set up groups in Moodle. So when, you're, when you are in your class, the first place you want to go is to participants. And the first thing you want to do is actually set up your groups. So right here where it says enrolled users, you're going to click down to that drop down menu and you're going to have at least these settings of group, groupings, and overview. So let's go to group or groups. When we come here, we see that there are no groups whatsoever. So the first thing we have to do is actually create the groups for the class. So we can do this in a variety of ways. We can create one group at a time. So we can hit create group. We can give it a group name, group description, and decide if we want them to have messaging or not, even give them a group five profile. So let's just call this group one. And then we're gonna come down and we're gonna say, yeah, we want them to have their own messaging so they can talk back and forth. Uh, we're not gonna give them a picture at this point, and then we're gonna hit save changes. Now we have group one. The problem is we don't have anybody in group one, right? So it says group one and it has that uh, zero in parentheses, letting us know there's nobody in group one. So if we wanna add or remove users in group one, we're gonna select add remove users. And then we are going to, uh, on the right, select the members that we want to be in group one. And now we have at least one student in group one. We are all set with that. Let's go back to groups. Once there, we do have one person in group one and it will show us that on the right hand side. Now, what if we wanna delete a group? Maybe we made the wrong group, we don't wanna use it or uh, the like, we can come down and select delete group. Or if we wanna edit the settings, we wanna change the membership or anything else uh, about this group, we can hit edit settings and we're back on this screen to change group one, You know, decide if we wanna add any of these other things, most of which we don't really need. All right, we're not gonna change anything, we're just gonna hit save changes. All right, now let's delete this group. Scroll down, hit delete. It's gonna say, are you sure you want to? And you're gonna say yes. Because I wanna show you the other feature, which is auto create groups. So if you have a class and you wanna do some means of creating that group, you don't wanna manually do it, but have Moodle just auto create, you can select auto create. And then it's gonna have you create the the naming schema. So maybe you don't want to do groups, maybe you want to do team. And the at sign, if you click on the little question mark, will tell you the at sign may be used, uh, may be used to create group names with uh, names containing letters. You can also use the, the pound symbol to indicate uh, numbers. So if I do this, that means, you know, it'll be team one, team two, team three. And that's gonna ask you, how do you wanna auto create? Do you wanna base it on the number of groups or the members per group? So I'm gonna choose, the difference there is, you know, if you want there to be three groups, then it's just gonna divvy it up into three groups. Or if it's members per group, you want three, group, three people per group, then it's gonna make as many groups as there are with three people. So in this case, I'm gonna say uh, number of groups, and I'm gonna say two. Do I want group messaging? Again, I'm gonna say yes. Select the uh, select members with the role. So in this case, I just want students, and ask us if we want to do it randomly, alphabetically by first name, alphabetically by last name, alphabetically by ID number. Uh, I would definitely not choose this one because I don't think the we have ID numbers of students in here. Uh, I'm going to select randomly, and then it's going to say. Uh, it, this may be an option uh, that, that's available, which is prevent last small group, meaning if you're saying groups of, th this is when you're doing, um, if you're doing members per group, this will be available. So if you're doing groups of three and the last group is gonna be a group of two, you might check this. And so you'll end up instead with uh, one or two groups that have four. So we're going with number of groups. Uh, ignore users in groups, so this you may or may, or may not want to check, but if you already have people in groups, you may not want to change that. Uh, and include only active enrollments, so this would mean anybody that has, uh, is no longer, is somebody that's been withdrawn for the core, from the course, but is no longer active in the course. Um, and so you can set all of that up. Grouping, you can start to play around with grouping. It's a little bit more technical of kind of creating groups of groups and, and iterations within that. Um, we can keep it simple here with just creating uh, groups. So we can do a preview, so that'll show us what it looks like. And it's gonna show us our groups down here. And so team one is imaginary student, team two is fake instructor. 
that looks great. I'm going to hit submit. Boom, now I have my groups. Now the next question comes actually in, now that we have groups, how to, or what does that mean when we are in Moodle itself? So let's see what this looks like. If we are using assignments or activities in our course, uh, if we go to something like Amazing Discussion here, and we click on the kebab menu, and we go to Edit Settings, as we scroll down, if we come down to the Common Module Settings, here we have Group Mode, and so now we can actually make some choices. We can decide, do we want separate or visible? And again, you can click on the question mark. It'll tell you uh, separate groups means each member see only their own groups and they're invisible to the other groups. Visible means each group sees the other, uh, sees the, their own group, but can also see other people's groups. So if we still decide to do separate, so folks are having their own individual discussion, we can do that. Um, again, at this point, we're not messing with grouping, that, that gets to another level. We can also decide if we just don't want a, a particular group to have access to this. So we could also say uh, one group can't see the discussion, won't see the discussion at all, versus the groups having essentially, in this case, two different discussions. So let's hit save and display. We now have that, that will be structured in here. And as you come down to here, you can see uh, it is separate groups. And if you as the instructor want to play around, you can look at, I just want to see team one, or I just want to see team two. Um, so that's a useful way to just look at that. I want to come back to the grade, uh, sorry, to the course page and also show that if we look at uh, an assignment, so again, here we'll look at this assignment. We'll hit its settings, and then we'll scroll down to this area that's called Group Submission Settings. We'll hit yes. It'll give us a few more options here. So require group to group to make submissions. Uh, so again, you can always click on that and it says members who are not, uh, if enabled, users who are not members of the group will not be able to make submissions. So this would basically mean you have to be part of a group to be able to submit. And if you, um, you can also decide here groupings for uh, for students. Again, if we're not using that option, we won't have any choices there. But this is really you just allow that. Um, somebody in the group can submit it. And that's the other piece is that it will be one student in the group. Can, once one student in the group uh, submits it, all students in that group will consider having completed that activity. And you'll be great. The grade that they receive will be for all students. So that's the grouping tool. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you.